So, the fastest growing snack in the concession industry over the past three years has been the soft pretzel. Are you familiar with soft pretzels? Mm -hmm. Do you like them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, typically, <coughs> when you would go to a stadium, or arena, a zoo, you would see a pretzel very much like this, and it would hang on the little thing and it spins around in a circle, right? Pretzels are basically bread. That's what they are. Okay? And so you leave bread out for two hours under heat, what happens to it? It's hard. It's hard. hard as a rock, yeah, it dries out, and you lose the quality. How much do you pay for a pretzel like this? If you went to the FedEx Forum, what would you pay? Oh, five or six. Yeah, like five or six, six dollars. Okay. Does that seem like it's good value? No. No. But you're in a captive audience, right? And you can't get food anywhere else, so you pay the five or six dollars for your pretzel, right? And when you get it, you're not sure how long it's been on the little wheel going around in a circle. Now, typically, pretzels were originally made like this and then frozen. And then you had to take them out thaw, and then you had to bake them. And so it was a long process. And not only uh, did you have to freeze them, but they come in large cases, and so you need freezer space. So if you're a football stadium and you need 15 cases in every concession stand, that's a lot of space, right? I was uh, very fortunate, and I worked with a company to develop what they call a shelf-stable pretzel. So in years past, you would get 50 of these in a case. They were frozen. You take a thawed product, okay, room temperature, a little bit of moisture on it, pile them all in a box. What happens when you open the box? Like ice cubes, they're stuck together, right? And if they're stuck together, when you try to take them apart, what happens? They break. Can you sell broken pretzels? No. So there's cost involved, right? The next piece is once you thaw them out, can you put them back in? No. So whatever you take out is a loss, so you better sell everything. So there's going to be waste because they're broken and loss because you don't sell them, right? I helped the company develop what they call a shelf-stable pretzel. They're individually wrapped, okay, in a bag. So instead of them all being stuck together in the box, A, they don't have to be frozen because it's shelf-stable and they're individually wrapped like bread, okay? Mm -hmm. Last up to a year. When you need the pretzel, what do you do? Just like Ashley just did, he went downstairs, he put it in the microwave oven, <coughs> it's hot, right? Yep. Warm, right? Now, if we hadn't cut the top off for you, all right, and we didn't sell this, what would happen to this pretzel? Would be ruined. Pardon me? Would it be ruined? No, because it's still in a sealed bag. So basically, you don't lose any because of frozen, broken, or cooked or not cooked. That makes sense? So you can cook, like at, say, the Paradiso, for example, they might put 15 pretzels in the warmer. And if they sell 12, they put another three in the warmer or another whatever. And they just keep them backed up so they don't end up with, say, 25 on that little wheel going around in a circle and then end up with 10 at the end of the night they didn't sell. Make sense? Here's the other aspect, and this is where I'm going I'm to stress all semester. It's called uh, perceived value. Look at this particular pretzel right here. You tell me you pay five or six dollars for that, right? Look at this pretzel right here. Which one would you rather have? The one in the box. Yeah. Why? It looks nicer and it looks like you're, it, it's not out and, you know, yeah. getting all the germs. And it looks stuff like on. it's baked, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Fresh baked. You don't have to eat it all at once. Pardon me? You don't have to eat it all at once. Exactly. A container. Yeah, so this right here you have to hold in your hand. What we found is the primary reason I actually invented the box too, by the way. Wow. Um, but the idea was value presentation. Okay, I want people to perceive this as a five dollar fresh baked pretzel, like you get at any ants, you know, in the mall, right? As opposed to something that's been on the wheel, right? Okay. So does the box cost a little more? Yes. But guess what we found? Yes, the, the box costs a little bit more than this wax paper. But what we found is very much what you just highlighted. You highlighted the fact that it was uh, almost in a tray. Now, if you're in, in our industry and you have carpet in the auditoriums, in theaters, for example, what do you see in the bottom of the box? Salt. What do you see, not all the what do you see in the bottom of the box? Salt. It's not all over the floor. It's exactly right. We don't have, we have less mess to clean up. And to your point, you can leave it there and you can eat it one bite at a time and set it down. Also, we can sell you extra cheese. And it now fits in the box as opposed to... Now I need two hands. Yeah. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. So, 
This is what I call perceived value or value enhancements. Just the simple box has changed. Every one of you, I think every one of you said, for $5, you'll take this over this. Has it, really, it improved sales on pretzels? Our sales went up about 25%. Yeah. 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 So it's an improvement. Yes. Yes. Now, at some point when you get to the 25%, it kind of levels off because that's, you went from here to here. So people, really what you want to leave your customers with in any business is when they walk away, was that worth it? You know, so the way we define a movie, okay, if it's good or bad, was it worth the dinner, the, the fee to pay the babysitter, and uh, the ticket cost? If it's if it was worth all of that, then it was a good movie, okay? Kind of the same thing if you go to the zoo. If you go to the zoo and you get uh, a snow cone, which we'll do next week, and it's dripping all down the side of your hand and it ends up on the ground or, you know, whatever, um, it's not a very good value, it deteriorates or detracts from the experience. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I've got pretzels here for everybody, okay? You guys get to come make your own pretzel. And then go back to your desk, your seat. Don't eat these two. These were demonstration pieces. They're not warmed up. Um, what we typically do, I'll let them get a, a towel. But uh, typically, you're going to take your pretzel. You're going to put, if you like salt, some people don't like salt. But you're going to take the pretzel out like this. We have a pastry brush in the theaters, which I realized didn't end up in my little basket. We Put a little bit of butter on it, and then you just basically sprinkle salt on top of it. Then you can pick it up, put it in the box. Okay? If you don't like salt, just help yourself to a pretzel and a box. And if you don't like a box, I have wax paper here. Okay. I think you sold us on the box. Yes. Oh, I did. I on the box. Good. I'll be right back. Go ahead. Well, he's getting that thing for the. Uh -oh. 